I'm Andrew from SportingGoodReviews.com. I'm here today to give a review about the Armorflex shoulder pad. The Armorflex is not a traditional shoulder pad. It's a cloth cover pad. So, I'm comparing them today against the VX Flex, which, uh, which is a standard high school shoulder pad from Shut. Yeah. And this Custom Douglas, a buddy of mine, which is actually a college pad. Now, now, the first thing you'll probably notice right off the back, back about this pad is that you'll notice notice the raised corrugations, and that gives it added strength. And as you can hear, there is some actual protection on this. Also, this cloth covering is a ballistic nylon, actually the same stuff they would use in a bulletproof vest, to cover a bulletproof vest, anyway. Then we go to your high school pad. Shut XB, which is a great high school pad. It's the cheapest of the three. It also has the raised corrugations, corrugations for added strength, and your typical plastic that they use for protection on the outside. And then you go to the Douglas pad. Douglas pad, as you see, there is no raised corrugations of any kind. It's just a hard plastic. Now, another feature feature that's nice. Whether you see it or not, they have seven millimeter vent holes here. As you can see, there are seven millimeter vent holes right there if you can see them real well. You might not. That lets it be more breathable. And also going to going back to the shut shut XB, you can see that they've got the same millimeter vent holes, except these are supposed to be five millimeters, not seven. Then you go to the Douglas, of course, there are no, there is no vent holes of any kind. Now, going to have the fitting system, fitting system on this, as you can see, these are the second generation armor flex. First generation actually came with a solid leather piece here, so you cannot get the quite the custom fit that you're supposed to get. But as you can see, they replaced it with laces so you can get a better fit. It also uses a three-point belt system, which, uh, which lets it hug your body better. Now going to the Shuck XV, you can see that they actually use the three-point belt system and the Shuck XV as well. But because of how troublesome this thing can be put on, they put, the, uh, they put these elastic straps more for helping you to put these things on. Then you go to Douglas here. They've only got a single strap on here, which doesn't pull the top portion of this down as well to help make it conform. Now I'm going to shoulder protection. Now, amongst cloth cover pads, this is the only one that actually has a true arch meaning that they actually put stuff in here to give it an arch, which you can see clearly right there, if you can get that. Got it? So that is something that is actually unique to the Shut Armor Flex amongst cloth covered shoulder pads. You go, so because of that arch, it gives great over the shoulder protection. Now, it's going by these two pads. These two both are all purpose. <coughs> Okay, going to the armor flex here, here, you actually get great arm extension and rotation out of these pads because of the way it's designed, and these are just the all-purpose. The skilled pads would probably give you almost unrestricted arm extension, extension. But on the shut B flex here, its arm arm restriction is actually pretty pretty severe where you probably only get 60 to 65 percent extension out of your arms with these pads, which up here. Which honestly if I was going out with a pass trying to catch past these pads, I'd have to be trying to catch the ball like this because I cannot extend my arms. Now going on the inside of these things, you have a rock sheet bone which is actually the same material material used in the shut in this shut pad, the XB for. The only difference is compact format of the Brock foam that is in, in the XB pad. 
webbing for air circulation in the rock sheet foam that's in here <coughs> that is in the XV. Now, protection wise, they are both great by every means. I mean, I use this pad. I used XV all last year. Last year, and never had one issue issue with it as I play semi pro football. And this is the pad I bought to replace the other flex. That's why I'm reviewing it today. I mean, I've joined every practice so far. It's taken every hit, every hit that this pad has taken last year, and still kept on clicking with everything attached. I have the hygiene on these pads. Yeah. Now, if you wanted to wash these pads, you would have to hand wash the Armor Flex. You would have to hand wash and hand and uh, let these hang dry or hand dry. Because, as you can see, these pads, there's no way to remove the, end, the interior protection. It is sewn in to the overall protection. That is part of the way that it helps this thing fit as well as it does. The XV Flux, on the other hand, you can machine wash the padding in here. They're just about thrown in. But you cannot machine dry them. You have to hang or hand dry these. Then, of course, you go to the Douglas, Douglas pad. It's suggested that you do not machine wash or wash these in hot water because the padding inside of these will supposedly shrink. So it's suggested not to hot water wash these things at all. And going back to hygiene, both XV and the Armorflex both use the Aegis system, which is an antibacterial system, which helps prevent mold from growing. Why the Douglas, on the other hand, has no type of antibacterial system in these pads. So they are very prone to molding if you do not take care of them. Now, you go, go down the weights. Of course, this is lighter in between the three. There's no question about it. But this is also lighter compared to, compared to all the ones on the market right now that are cloth covered pads. Now, the Spartan may come close, but it's still this is still lighter than the Spartan, but the Spartan's about the only one that comes real close and lightweight. And the only other one that I would trust in protection, protection, half as much as the armor. As I would not trust the bike or the Z-Cools padding, padding protections because there is no form of protection in those pads. Now you guys, the XV Flux here, it's one of the lighter pads on the market markings in its category, but it's nowhere near the lightest, so that's that. And of course you got this Douglas here. Douglas doesn't matter what you go with unless you're talking about quarterback pads. Most Douglas pads are actually at the top end of the market market on weight, meaning that they are some of the heaviest pads on the market. Now another feature another feature is talking about again is going back going back to the interior is that you talk about breathability of these two pads. Why this one's even cooler than I expected. Actually keeping your cool. He's not letting you get hot. Because the air circulation is great in this sucker and this one. Which I have to play play in June, July and August weather weather. So I have to play in eighty plus degrees degrees weather when I'm playing football. Some of the games I actually played in were ninety degree weather games. So but yet, I did not overheat them in these pads. But my buddy of mine, who actually had to wear these pads, he, every time he got done with the game, it almost looked like he got done wearing, wearing a trash bag. And <laughs> a wrestler's train. That's because there is no air circulation of any kind designed in the interior of the Douglas pads. And that goes for most Douglas pads. Their higher end Douglas pads, they have started to put put some air circulation, but most of their pads do not. Okay, now I'm going to actually put the XD Flux on and 
the armor flex just to show you how they fit. Now, I would put the Douglas here on, but they are not my size. They're a buddy wears the 5X, which are a very large pad, so I can't wear this. All right, now give me a moment to put on the armor uh, the XB flux so you can see how it is. Now, as you can see here in the back, you can see how it conforms. It conforms well, well here at the bottom, the towards your paw towards the top here, as you can see, it doesn't conform as well as it's supposed to because of the plastic here acting like a spring. So, while I've got great fit down in here, I don't have the best fit up in the shoulders. Although these shoulder pads protect me, protect me very well last season, no issues. You can see that there's no laces, it's a leather strap, so there's nothing to adjust here. These are more or less just for helping to get you on, you can take them off if you like. They're not instrumental to the protection system. That is by the belt. Now you see, I didn't tuck them in because it's just not much extra work to take them off. Going back over here, you can see the redundancy pads, how they are. Now, the one little thing that a lot of people talk about is, you know, can a person get underneath your pads? Well, these pads are as tight as I can get them, but yet maintain a full breath of air and hold it for three seconds without no trouble, which is why you should be wearing your pads. Pads. As you can see, I can push them into my neck. I mean, so it is possible for somebody to choke you on the field with these pads. If you take them a tad tighter, you can prevent that, but you lose the ability to gain a full breath, which actually will affect you in the long run on the field. Now, also talking about the show XV Flex, I forgot to mention that all these rivets here and all the metal used in this are stainless steel, so rusting is not an issue. But since I already got them on, Let's talk about the arm extension for a second. As you can see, going straight forward, I've got nearly all arm extension, which is the easy part. The farther up I go, forever, the more restriction I get. As you can see, I'm having more and more difficulty getting a full arm extension. Now, if I go up high, I'm suddenly start restricting and having to bend over to make a catch. And going over top, it's basically impossible to get your hands together even for a catch. So, as you can see, the all-purpose actually restricts your arm extension quite a bit. I imagine the skill pads would not restrict your arm extension anywhere near that the all-purpose does. Okay. Now, give me a minute here, and I'll take these off and stick on the arm reflex and show you some difference. Okay, now here I am wearing the arm reflex. As you can see, see how differently it fits. And, of course, this does not go down as low as the other all-purpose pads, pads the XV flux that I had on just a moment ago. Yeah. Now, going through the shoulder arches first, you can see how the ar top of the arch and these pads actually do conform a lot better to my shoulders. And then, of course, they do have redundancy pads. Going into the fit side of this thing, of course, as you can see, it fits very well. And unlike the VX, I can hold in my breath and not have any restrictions because of the way this is designed. But here's the real nice thing. Remember, remember the VX how it went to my neck? As you can see, I cannot get the sucker in my neck compared to the VX. I mean, right now, the straps are actually hurt my under shoulders trying to push it up into my neck. It is just not happening. That's how well this thing fits. It fits like a glove. Perfect. Okay, since we're talking about the arm reflex here, and I got it all, I'll show you the arm extension I talked about earlier. As you can see, coming forward, I've got full almost full extension, probably 99% extension. Going farther up, i still got almost full, full extension. Going up over top, as you can see, I don't have quite full extension, but I've got most of my arm extension, extension still available to me. I'm going straight over top, I've got mm, probably, probably 85, 85, maybe 70, 79, somewhere in there, percent arm extension over top which is actually great out of an all-purpose shoulder pad. So the skill, as I imagine, would leave almost unrestricted arm extension. And since you can see the three-point belt system better in these pads, as you can see, I have this pull on the curvature, curvature to my body to make it a better fit. Now this has been, been about the armor flex, armor flex, this tire review. So, as you can see, there are a lot of advantages of the Armor Flex compared to a lot of standard pads. And other than that, if you have any questions, you can shoot me an email, email at sportinggoodreviews.com or leave comments after the video. So, this is Andrew, signing off.